Hey, if brother, you, you have to kill the bee. Yeah, you have to kill the bee. Do you know that bee. the bee is in your destiny? You are so <laughs> crest. Yeah. And you want to kill the bee? You have to kill the bee. That we use the uh, bee because it is in our, it is our, in the element of our school. Hey, I'm very so disappointed. My name is Goshes, still here in East Africa, Uganda, and I'm in Chigezi High School. My special regards to the Minister of Education, Madame Jeanette Museveni, and then the Director of Education, Madame Kate Lamalu. And I also want to appreciate Mr. Joel Moti Kanga for all the amazing work you've put in, in for this to happen. But here, I have found this gentleman over Brother, they want to know your name. My name is Ayewal Eugene and I'm a student at Chigezi High School. Chigezi High School. What program do you do here? Or course? I do physics, economics and mathematics. Physics, economics and mathematics. This guy looks like an honorable. He is, looks so glorified. Amazing. Brother, yes. I have heard that you have done an app. Mm. Like a gaming app that you built on the concept of probability. Me, in my school back in school yeah they taught us probability prob i never understood anything mm. but you you've been able to use probability to build a game ha, ha, wh where is the thing wait where is it the game yeah we have a game uh, on our computers and on our devices inside here and do you know they want to see it can we go there yeah we can go come and see probability game Awesome. They teach you mathematics. You say you won't learn. <laughs> oh, so these are your team. Yeah, this is our Amazing. team. Amazing. Hi. <coughs> awesome. I have heard that you people have come together, joined your brains to build a game based on probability. Mathematics. Back in school, my time in SS, they will come and teach probability. They would teach algebra. They would everything. I never understood anything. But here in Uganda, your time, you've understood the thing so well, probability, that you've been able to use it to build a game. Brother. Yes. Where is it? The game is here. This is it. Yeah. Come and see. And when you open it, you have three levels at first, but the last two are locked. You have to first pray. Who locked yeah. it? We locked it in our code. You? Yeah. You locked this thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've locked it in a look. So it means that this one is not accessible. Okay. Yeah. It's not accessible. It means he gives no room for cheating. Until you complete here, you are not coming here. No weapon. So you have to go here. You have to first do the junior level. Then once you achieve the score for the junior level, you go to the senior. Once you are, you are a senior, then you can go to the master level. So press the junior, let's see what's there. So in the junior level, mm. uh, it's an easy level for anyone that can, anyone can play it. And the rules of the game are, you, when the, there is a B that you have to kill. When the B goes in the box number one, you click button number one to kill it. And hey, brother, you, miss, you have to kill the bee. Yeah, you have to kill the bee. Do you know bee. that the bee is in your destiny? You are so <laughs> crest. Yeah. And you want to kill the bee? You have to kill the bee. That we use the uh, bee because it is in our, it is our, in the element of our school. Hey, I'm very so disappointed. You, <laughs> <laughs> you kill your own bee. <laughs> okay, let's kill the bee. Yeah, hey, okay. I'm not the one killing the bee, it's you. <laughs> your old student will ask you why you want to kill the bee. <laughs> they work really hard to protect the bee. You're telling you, you want to kill it. You say you want to kill the bee. Yeah. Come and see. So, you place the play button up here. Yeah. Then the bee, the bee will, will start moving to boxes. Ah. So if it comes here, you kill it like that. You kill it like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And as you play, the speed will keep increasing. Amazing. Yeah. And you, you, it's, it's coding, like programming that you people did. Yeah. We programmed it in Android Studio using Java programming language. Here in Chigezi High School. In Chigezi High School. Can all Ugandan students create this thing? Everyone uh, can create this thing as long as you come to Chigezi High School and <laughs> you deal with our amazing teachers and you learn the skills. And Look. if you, to, you click a long button, there you fail. 
and you see the live, the live bar will keep reducing. And when the live bar is done, you fail the game and you can either play again, play again or you quit. And you did this thing based on probability. Yes. That's probability that they teach in classroom. In classroom. <laughs> you have the concept explained uh, in this presentation. Like if you see here, we have our the introduction slide then. I don't want you to explain the concept. Somebody will steal it. Oh, okay, okay. But you've done the thing. Mm -hmm. I also understand that you can use this thing to score, uh, maybe give gift to content creators. How yeah. is it li like? So the same way this skill, the, the game works, mm. you see. It is based on probabilities. The bee can go to any random box. The player cannot be predicted. Mm. So the same way, if you want to to give random gifts to your subscribers, you can get a list of subscribers and apply the same concept to generate random, maybe random names uh, according to the names you have put, mm. then you can give the gifts. Does the Minister of Education know that you have done this thing here? Uh, not yet. Is she aware? She's not yet aware. How about the Education Director? Is she aware? Madam Kate, is she aware? Madam Kate Lamalo, are you aware that they've done this thing here? You have to come and see it. They are not aware, right? Yeah, they are not aware. If they give you facility, like they bring you equipment, machines and all that, mm -hmm. what can you do as people, as students of Chigezi? Okay, as students of Chigezi, if you have uh, powerful computers, we can apply our skills to build very amazing projects that can solve real world problems and, and make the world a better place. Can you design things, softwares and um, things for the presidency to protect TV Uganda the more? Yeah, we can. Are you sure? Yeah. So if the president drives all from the state house and come and meet you people, mm -hmm. you will not disappoint him? He won't disappoint him. He's watching all. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I know this video can reach the president, can reach anyone in the world. So if they come, Sure, we will not disappoint them. You will not disappoint them? Yes. See, this is Africa. It's not happening in any of the... I am here in East Africa, Uganda, Chigezi High School. Sometimes we limit our potentials as people. You see, the only difference between this guy and myself here is the language. If you look at the color, we are the same people. If we are walking around here and they don't tell you that this one is from East Africa and this one is from West Africa, you will never know. So what it means is that we can literally combine our powers as people. Because it's the unity of the continent that matters. Oh, that's what matters. These people are experts in something. You go to West Africa, they are experts in something. You go to East Afri um, Central Africa, the Southern Africa, all, all are experts in something. And it's really mind-boggling to know the kind of youth that are coming up and the innovations they have. These are the things I think we should commit our resources to. Mm. Sir, they want to know your name. Oh, my name is to Kamshaba Elijah. Mr. Kamshaba Elijah. Yes. How were you able to encode this sophisticated? Because I'm looking at this thing here. To, in my face, a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag? A zigzag, zigzag. I can't see a little. Yes. How were you able to encode this thing into their heads to come up with this innovation? Uh, well, number one, we have given the chance our learners to, to think, critically think, and uh, explore their potential. We don't limit the learners' potential. So give them the chance to uh, go to internet. We have internet here. Mm. So they go to the internet, they search, our learners are always learning using our computers, mm. using the internet we have provided. So they are always here. So this, uh, I, I want even to urge everyone that every school that, we, we, that is in Uganda or in Africa, that they don't limit their learners, they, they, their potential. They give them the chance to learn. Uh, we have given them the chance to learn. And they are always surprising us. Amazing. Uh, we teach them using... Uh, uh, robotics, we have talked to them robotics, we have talked to them programming, and you see he's using Java now, develop such a game. So that's JavaScript? Yeah, JavaScript. 
They know other programs. This is just a sample. Amazing. They have other programs. They know. They know Python already. They know C programming. They know JavaScript. They know Java. They have HTML. They develop websites. They have even developed the. Uh, they, they, they they have bloggers. We have learners who are working. They are getting money when they are at school. Awesome. Yes. And everything is happening here in Chigezi High School. Yes, at Chigezi High School. See. Hmm. Now to the people watching, especially the old students. Yes. What will you tell them? Uh, we tell them they have to jubilate. Kigeza School, where they started from, is a good school. It, is, uh, they, it didn't stop with them. We are still producing other uh, important people in awesome. this country and in East Africa, in Africa, and in the whole world. Awesome. Yes. Now, wherever you're watching this video from, especially across East Africa, and then your world is about to write an examination and come to uh, secondary school, you are thinking, should I let my child go? Should I let him go to that school or that school or that school? Or should I let him come to Chigezi High School? Mm. You are watching the video. The choice is yours.